Tonight we're exploring true love and looking at how some Australians do love as well as eavesdropping in on some lady talk about their marriages. <laughs> also, I'm going to hit the streets and find out what love is available for a bride like me. You're what we call in the game, you're a hard nine. A hard nine? Yeah, as opposed to what I am. I'm a soft three. Oh, you're a soft three. Well, okay. As long as you're underneath me, Ray, I'm happy on top. Okay. Beck, on that particular note, we might just leave it exactly where it is. I'm the bride, you're the groom. Yes. What can you offer me? Um, I can offer you a passport. Oh! Dale, not very much. I've got a, two houses. Two houses? Yeah, pain and heartache. No, no, the dog's the groom. Very small accommodations in the closet size Ooh. room with six other people. Oh, trusted by name, trusted by nature. Yeah. <laughs> Somehow I don't trust you. You know this Viagra? Oh, yes. Yes. Have you tried it? No, but I'd like to. You've heard good things about it. <laughs> it was in a small apartment. We're like, you did. okay, got to take the kids this to school. Time. 8 it's yeah. 8 o'clock. It's on. Come on, let's go. In the bar. Yeah. <laughs> okay, girls, you're nearly ready. Okay, <laughs> get your lunches. <laughs> You do. You've got time constraints. You've got things but to do. But we managed to do it, but it was kind of became quite exciting and fun. It was like yeah. a game. But yeah. then we didn't do it for a year afterwards. No. <laughs> Ethan Kent from Projects for Public Spaces, the foremost thinkers about how to make a city great, states it's not just about the livability or the quality of life, it's about the lovability and the emergent creativity from a city that allows for its success. I find this notion incredibly seductive and inspiring, and so I've decided to create a great big fat cash mob right in the centre of town. New York has a reputation for being sexy, and it is. It's hot as hell. It's like everyone's single and totally up for it. Now obviously Love TV was in the middle of the day, in the centre of town, so it had a very G rating. But it still didn't stop a few steamy moments happening in the old clam. Mm. I have a genetic cellular disorder that makes my collagen elastic, so my entire body from head to toe is elastic. Wow, does that make you an exceptional lover as oh, well? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah. I have a superpower, you see, my, my male parts can form themselves perfectly to every lover that I have and then go a little bit bigger so they don't forget who I am. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Just a little taste. Right, I see, okay. I'm getting a bit excited now, oh my Ooh, God. Me too, <laughs> it's fun here. Hooray, it's all okay. It's not a skin cancer. I'm gonna be all right. And the thing is that you just have to get checkups and you have to be really careful. You know, protect your skin, be responsible. But I am so relieved that I do not have the skin cancer like my dad. And I now understand that the right treatments are available too, if I did. So, it's a great day. Thank you. Myth is busted. Parramatta is far more than footy and cars. I mean, there's still a few bogans, but that's what keeps us entertained. Thanks for joining me on Beck Mac, and we'll be back with lots more love, music, and culture.